it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia coming to you uh, with a pour today and I'm using the Boom Gel the Boom Gel stain this is a pre-made paint that can be used for oh, all sorts of things so it's got on here it can be used for staining um, particularly it is good for doing the bloom technique like the Shelley bloom technique but without any of the you know making up the ingredients so it's all just um, basically pour blow and tilt so that's all we have to do so I'm gonna do a, uh, a bloom a blooming thing on this uh, little gallery wrapped canvas Actually, I should tape my back, shouldn't I? I should have taped that. I might quickly show you how to do that. Just, um, just quickly, for those that, it's always good to tape the back of your canvas. And, oh, oh. And don't do it when you've got gloves on because the tape sticks to your gloves. So there you go. There's another lesson learned. Oh, goodness me. So if you put the tape on the back of your canvas, you are obviously going to have less mess when it comes to, um, you know, if you wanted to sell or gift your canvas, you've obviously got a clean bottom. So having a clean bottom is important. So instead of having all the sort of paint all clumped at the bottom, so you just put those this is just masking tape you can get different strengths in this you know some are stickier than others but um, sort of the basic will do because hopefully you know there's nothing when it's pulled off that it, it can really damage so so if you want to keep a nice clean bottom there you go so this is a nice little thick edged or gallery wrapped canvas. It's got my pegs in the bottom. I have put it on a um, spinner, spinnery thing. And I've put this little bit of silica, uh, well, it's like a little bit of um, what you line drawers with, um, cupboards or drawers to non-slip. So I've put that on top and I've put a little um, lolly stick stuck underneath so I can better spin it without having to touch the canvas or anything so that's another little idea now this I will sit this on it I mean if you want you can double uh, get the tape and do this and it helps you sort of just fold the tape round so the sticky side and then put that on the bottom like that so get the tape i'll just break off a bit it doesn't have to be posh get the tape stick that back so um so if i stick it there and there it just when you turn it up then and oh, let's see if i can get this right there you go it just helps your canvas adhere to your um, base so hopefully when I spin it it's not going to fly off but it's not fully guaranteed but that's what you can do anyway um, to make sure your canvas or whether it's a board or a piece of uh, wood or a tile you can you know just secure it a bit better so that should be a little bit safer I believe so there you go I am gonna pour the base paint on first and I might actually do my edges so as I don't have to concern myself too much when it comes to um, the side so I've got because these are nice deep sides and I'm just using my fingers I'm not you can use them um, sponge brush or a brush or whatever you choose i'm just going over my very edges with this so i know that they're covered and that i haven't got to worry too much about the 
um, end result going right over the edges if I've already got it coated. So just another little easy thing to do, coat your edges because I've seen so many people on videos too spend so much time trying to get the paint over the edges that they lose all of the composition on the top for the nice uh, it is messy though using your fingers because now I've gone and stuffed my gloves up because I've got paint inside I've got paint inside the glove I don't know how I did that so just I'll wash them out and reuse them again as long as they're all dry even though they're disposable gloves I can sometimes get away with washing them while I've got them on and then I just hang them up with um use one of these I just hang hang them up above my sink on one of these clips there you go and they uh, dry out and as long as they're dry on the inside you can get your hands back in them again so that they might last one or two pours okay let's try this so let me see what i do i'm gonna try and i probably should have been doing this in a um what you call it some kind of box that retains um that doesn't look as though that's level because that's going off that way um yeah probably better to do it in some kind of uh, box for when you're spinning it doesn't the paint doesn't go everywhere but i haven't so i am gonna this one i'm gonna just try it as is this is my mana crab blue so i squeeze it out and do a whirl with it probably try not to just put it in one big blob find if you whirl it just come straight out the bottle if your bottle gets a bit mucky i just use a um you know when you open it just push push your skewer in there uh, they're weird colors yes they are weird colors I am giving them a try, so uh, I will just tell you the colours once again in a minute. So there was the Pinnacle Sand, Bongara Brown, Gum Leaf Green and Mana Crab. I'm going to put a bit of white, Sterling White, and I'm actually going to put two cell activate so this is um i've got in here my berry delicious made up with just flow troll so i'm gonna see if my berry delicious made up with flow troll and then the amsterdam white made up with flow troll Now, I'm not sure whether to blow this out myself or use something. I will just try the blow. <sighs> Let me hold on to something. Oh, I can turn it around. I forgot about that. an oopsie oh. wowzers trousers that looks gorgeous <laughs> already I don't want to touch it but I suppose I have to um, might just do some whirls out of the center. I am gonna spin it, but I think I better put my um, apron on because I think I'll get it all over me. 
Uh, the center isn't so nice. These, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is gorgeous up close. I'm not sure if you're getting it on the camera, but I'm just gonna whack me, whack me um, apron on because I forgot because I know this spinner, I'm probably gonna get it everywhere. So here goes. Let's give it a spin. Let's get the things out of the way that might get ruined. Let's see how we go. Do I spin it fast? Do I tilt it? Where's my spinnery thing? Yeah, I've kind of stuffed up the middle, maybe because I kept blowing at it, but I might see if I can just stretch it out by tilting it maybe rather than spin, does that? Oh, I think I've stuffed it up. <laughs> I have got some awesome effects. But, um, oh, look at this around this side. I love it. <laughs> but I stuffed up the centre. No, I'm going to... I think I kept blowing when I should have not, but that is actually gorgeous. It is lovely. So I might take it off and see if I can tilt it a little bit. Oh, got that bottom thing stuck on there now. Oh, never mind. Don't want to lose some of the nice stuff, but anyway. I just love these colors i love that big split there i love this look at this look at this side you see that it's gorgeous but i don't suppose i should be holding it like this either and now i've got that thing caught on the bottom because I s i'm in a mess oh my goodness okay that didn't work i probably should have stuck that to the bottom but never mind still got the wood on the bottom okay i am gonna put some um i'm gonna let that dry i think or should i have another go at it i love the sides i love the sides i'm not I'm not too keen because it didn't come over here but that's okay a little bit of negative space is obviously fine um it's covered the sides are just gorgeous i just love it actually i'm gonna leave it because i reckon that resin would come up gorgeous so it's been a while since i did one of these i have absolutely stuffed that middle up so um oh do i try and do a little thing on it again or will i completely stuff it up Thinking, thinking. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I love the sides. I just don't love that bit. But I will put some photos on and we can see what it looks like after it's dried. But thank you so much again for enjoying, uh, enjoying it, joining me on this little sort of bloomer that turned out like a bomb's gone off in the bloom. So I will give it a go. I've got a few more things I can pour on here right now. So I will keep on practicing but it is um yeah it's kind of a no-brainer stuff you don't have to mix stuff up you don't have to do this and that so if you've already got the the blow technique down pat then really you know um it's an easy easy bloom so until tomorrow guys thank you so much for joining me i am thinking of you all if you're all in a country that is really having a tough time of it all um, please, you know, um, take care of yourselves, 
Call a friend, call a helpline if you're feeling sad or lonely. Don't suffer alone. But, um, or come and join us in the art room. So take care and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.